One of my favorite places on the Mississippi coast, the Oro Keith Museum of Art, with the distinctive architecture of the one and only Frank Gehry. Welcome back to the Four O'Clock Show, here with the director of the museum, David Houston, where Frank Gehry is about to get under the spotlight here in his own exhibition. Well, Dave, nice to have you back with us. Frank is here. Um, the exhibition that we have is a real career survey from projects built and unbuilt, and the centerpiece of the exhibition is a large model of the Oro O'Keefe Museum and a really fantastic model that's a study model for one of our pod galleries. You can see how Orr influenced Gary and really got under his skin. Yeah, and it's so beautiful, of course, dancing with the oaks. We have the beautiful oak trees here on the campus. And uh, what does it mean to the museum to have Frank Gehry's name, his work, attached to it? Well, Frank turned 95 two Tuesdays ago and has recognized the greatest living architect. And as his only museum in the southeast and only one of two buildings in the southeast, to have that mark here in Biloxi, Mississippi is just extraordinary. And the spaces are challenging as exhibition spaces. They're interactive. They're not just a simple white box. So working with the building as a work of art and then placing works of art within a work of art is rewarding but also challenging. And is there going to be a reception of any kind? Is there going to be an event kind of around this exhibition? Well, keep your eye on our website. We're hoping to have Frank here in mid-April, and we're working to finalize some travel arrangements with his office, and we will be publicizing that hopefully next week. Yeah. And now we're here with ceramic artist Christian Din to talk about his new exhibition at the OR. Christian, I love your work. Tell Thank me a little so bit about it. So this exhibition, is about celebration of the success of the Vietnamese American community. Um, quite often you hear narratives around Vietnamese American culture that focus on perhaps struggles or misfortune, which is an important conversation to have, but it quite often overshadows the success of the community and the trajectory that they've had here since being in the United States after 1975. Yeah, and of course, mm -hmm. we're standing in Biloxi. Biloxi yes. mm -hmm. has a huge Vietnamese American community. So tell me just a little bit about your creative process and uh, what you've chosen in terms of design. Yes, yeah, so the creative process is primarily working with porcelain, which is a very fine clay, right? And so the idea of it is to work with the material, um, tracing back into tradition. Um, that being from southern China, but also northern Vietnam. So a material that um, has a huge culture over there. I wanted to um, bring that tradition back into the U.S. and bring those types of traditions, such as um, the blue and white pottery, the porcelain, to bring tradition to the, uh, the, American, the Asian American population.